Hi, my name is Jeff Cassidy from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I am here today to talk to you about diagnosing early onset scoliosis. You or someone else may notice a change in the way your child's body is shaped. Some children with early onset scoliosis have uneven waists, shoulders, or shoulder blades, and you may notice a bump on their back where the ribs stick out more on one side than the other. Sometimes scoliosis is first diagnosed when an x-ray is done for another reason, such as when a chest x-ray is taken for concerns about lung problems. Your pediatrician or pediatric orthopedist will diagnose scoliosis by the physical changes I mentioned previously and confirm that diagnosis with an x-ray. If your child does have early onset scoliosis, your doctor may recommend additional testing or refer your child to other medical specialists. Overall, back pain in children is relatively uncommon, and children with mild to moderate scoliosis have no more back pain than children without scoliosis. However, severe curves or curves associated with spinal cord abnormalities can cause back pain, neck pain, and headaches in some children. There is no absolute way to predict whether or not a curve will get bigger. There are some indicators on the x-ray, depending on the type of early onset scoliosis your child has, that may help your doctor to predict whether or not the curve will grow over time. If you notice a big change in the way your child's back appears, then you should notify your doctor right away.